I'm Justin with Warren, and today we're going to be covering some mounting solutions for Ruger dovetailed rifles. Now the Ruger dovetail is pretty unique for most firearms, and there's a couple different variants of it. So what makes it differ from most other dovetails out there is there's a small cutout at the top of the dovetail for a half circular recoil lug, and then there's also two small cuts on the side of the dovetail for your clamps to go into. It's proprietary to Ruger, and again, they have a couple different versions of it. What I have on the bench is an M77. The M77 is unique because it uses two different height rings, like I have here. And when you purchase our M77 rings, they will come in the package with the two proper heights. So you don't need to buy a pack of highs and a buy a pack of mediums to make them fit this dovetail. They will be for the rifle set up the proper way out of the package. Some of the other Ruger rifles they offer that features this dovetail are the number one, uh, the Mini 14 and the Mini 30, and a few of the other 7722s and 7717s and so forth. Those are all a little bit different than the M77 because the dovetails are the same height. So we offer ring sets for those as well that have the correct height rings in the package. I'm going to go over the installation instructions on how to mount the Ruger rings. Again, in this case we're doing an M77. And these are a set of medium height 30 millimeter fixed rings. So we're going to start by removing all eight screws from the rings. And when you remove the screws and take the ring in half, you're going to notice a small silver key stuck between the rings. It's a small, I'd say a little half moon shape or a half oval shape and it's only going to fit into that ring one direction so the flat is going to go up into the ring and what we're going to do is set the rings onto the scope tube and just start the screws so they're kind of hanging on there you want to make sure that in the case of an M77 the shorter ring is going to go on the front dovetail the taller ring is going to go on the rear and be careful when you're mounting them onto the dovetail you want the recoil key, which is offset compared to the clamps, you want it pushed forward toward the muzzle because that's the direction that they're offset. So like our Maxima fixed rings, the easiest way to keep track of those recoil keys when you're installing them onto the dovetail is to pinch the bottom of the rings together with the screws loose and then you're going to slide them onto that dovetail and move them around till they just fall into position. The next step is we're just going to snug the bottom screws while putting pressure forward toward the muzzle on each ring. The next step is we're going to go through with our TW1 25 inch pound torque wrench and we're going to tighten the bottom screws only. Keep in mind that the top screws have no tension on them but they are started. After that, we'll set our eye relief and level our reticle. And the very last step in installing these rings is tightening the top screws. And for torquing the top screws, we're also going to use our TW1 torque wrench, which is preset to 25 inch pounds. We're now ready to bore sight the gun and go to the range. So some of the other variants we have of these rings are offering them in a quick detach. So the quick detach are the same style ring, but they offer a adjustable lever on the side 
which can be indexed in position. This is important if you're going to be mounting them on a Mini 14 or Mini 30. Out of the package, when you tighten the lever, it may be pointing down or to the left or to the right, just depending on how it fits the gun, and that may interfere with your charging handle. To fix that, you just pull out on the lever, re-index it so it's facing up and it's not an issue. We offer all of our Ruger rings in one inch and 30 millimeter tube sizes in a medium or high set. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.